Hello, I'm Ron Nutter and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter. In this video, we're going to talk about how to get the Hubitat C5 Hub set up with a single-led RGBW bulb. If you aren't familiar with RGBW, it stands for red, green, blue, white. Just a fancy way of saying it's a color bulb for the rest of us. While this is a supported bulb, there is one minor change you're going to need to do for things to work as expected. This video is available also as of Amazon Flash Briefing or Podcast. Please go to techbyteswithrunnutter.com for more info. For any items mentioned in this video, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you're going to pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. If this video helps you or you get value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. Now, let's get started with the singlet RGB bulb and getting it installed on the Logitech C5 hub. So that's really, th this is going to be one of those easy things to do. Now there is an additional step or two. So you know what, we'll just go ahead and get started. Now we've already got our work area set up and I've got the C5 hub already up and running. And this is the package that it comes in from Amazon. It was, I think, less less than $15. And I was surprised if I could find a, a color bulb like that. Now, what I always do when I'm setting one of these up is I have this nearby the hub just to make it easier. And that way, if I need to do resets, I'm not taking in and out of another light fixture. So let's go ahead and switch over to my Chromebook. And yes, I did say Chromebook because I wanted to show you another way where you could actually be managing your smart home from something other than a smartphone. So we're over here and let's go ahead and we will click on device. Sometimes you got to double click on a smartphone. You only have to tap once and let's go back here. It obviously didn't like something. So that's probably something I did by the wrong. Okay, there we go. It got ahead of itself. So we'll do discover devices. And if you check here on the bottom of the bulb, it does, well, hold, get on the right camera. It does say Zigbee. So you want to make sure you click on that when we go to get started. So, now we'll you know, pick it back over here and I've got get the power strip turned on and we will get that in place. So now you see it's getting its little act together. So now we will click Zigbee and you can't see it, but there it, it's, it's blinking just off the side of the screen. So if we scroll down here, you do see it set up. So let me go over here and we will call it Singled, don't want everything in caps. Singled RGBW, not TGB. Here we go. RGBW. Okay. And we'll go saved. And then we will go back up here and go back to devices. And I could have just backed up, but hey, what's the fun in that? And you see it does identify it correctly as. A element color plus well had a little bit of a problem with the laptop wanting to uh, to play nice and I'm gonna have to look at that but wasn't trying to uh, to do clickbait with you but they have apparently since I first got the bulb they have decided to fix the issue where the C5 hub was not seeing it correctly so when we go into devices and it is reporting, if you know, list right down here, it does see it as a single color plus bulb. And all the research I've done said it didn't. So we'll tap on that. And now, and let's, let's go ahead and we'll shift over here. Well, you can see it's, uh, well, we'll do it anyway. We will go to the demo cam. So we will tap on the off button and on button. You can set, it's, it's impressive what you can, can set on here because we can go in and set uh, the color and let's get that out of the way. So there's all sorts of color options that you can uh, play with here. We'll go up here and get it as best we can into the white range and we'll do set color 
and actually I'm going to switch over here so you can see some of this directly. So we will uh, do, well, first we'll go over here. We will go to color, tap on the color map, and we will say I want yellow. And we'll click close. Now we'll go here to the demo cam. And it, it may be hard to see. It's actually kind of overloading the, the camera just a little bit. But you can see where it's gone a little bit yellow. So let me, let's pick another color here. I'll get that keyboard out of the way. So we'll go into the blue range. Yeah, I know. Please complete the required fields. Uh, okay, we'll click on close there. And then we will go back here and we'll say set color. So you can see that it is reasonably uh, well to, to go. And we've got some other options here to, to look at. And we can, well, we'll first go back and we will set the, get the color map back to where we had it. It's, here, I'm going to enlarge that and make this easier to, to tap. There we go. And we'll go up here into the upper corner well not what i wanted to do here okay so now let's go back here so you can see it can be a little uh touchy at times so let's go down here and we will go up here into the corner as best we can and let's go down here we'll click close set color so now we've got it back to the white and the rest of the controls are as you would expect. We'll set the level and we'll say uh, we'll say 25%. And you may find some of the numbers are going to be a little uh, subjective. So we can set level and it drops in level. So you there is a lot of flexibility far beyond what I was expecting with this and with some of the home technology that I've come across, trust me, I don't expect a whole lot. So this really is, is very straightforward. Now you can go on to the dashboard. And what we'll do is within the dashboard, sorry, get to the right camera here. We'll go to studio. And then we will click plus. We'll go down here and we've got the single LED bulb. And we'll go down here. There we go. And we'll call it bulb. Don't really have to go past that point. Make sure we still got bulb selected. And tap add tile. And we'll close the window. And you can see there's singlet bulb right on the right. So we'll tap it. And as you can see, it's off. We'll tap it again. It comes on. And to can't really squeeze the screen down anymore. But what we'll do is we'll go up here to those three dots and the, if we can touch them, well, it's there we go. I just had to scroll the screen a little bit. So we'll tap on the three buttons. All that does is get you to the screen where we set things up. So that really doesn't help. So to, to really make the changes, we'll need to go back here to devices tap on the single LED bulb, and then we can go about changing the color, doing everything else that, that you would think of. So really, this is a pretty straightforward deal to set up. Like I mentioned, the links to get one of these, and when I got it, it was less than $15, well worth the price of admission and a very affordable. I've used another single LED bulb. Now, granted, it's just the black and white one, but again, very straightforward to, to set up. And I think it's one that you'll be very happy with. And with the area that I've got set up, go to the right camera here. So it's very uh, compact. It's not heavy at all. Decent construction. And if you're going to be using, especially in a vacation home or something that where you may not need a permanent bulb all the time, having a couple of plugs like this is not going to be a bad thing to do. And anytime you're in the Hubitat interface, Always go through, go through and make sure that we'll go into settings and we will go to hub details and then you can set your time there. And that's so that's, you know, that's already been done. 
and we'll go down here and we will check for updates. Usually when you get an interface, it will tell you. In this case, there is not any updates available. I do try to keep fairly current on that. I may not do it the day that I get the notification, but let it kind of percolate for a bit. At least that's my humble impression. Sometimes it doesn't pay to, uh, to run full bore into things. But that's uh, very straightforward, and I was pleasantly surprised. Like I said, when I did the setup for this video, I really was, everything I had said you had to select the generic RGBW driver, which is something to consider. If you're trying a bulb that is discovered but really isn't supported, sometimes selecting a generic driver, much like we had to do for the Sylvania bulb in the in the in one of the last videos I did, that that was how we got working, although granted there was a few little glitches. Well, appreciate your time on watching this. You're going to see links to a video here and here for others in the series or for some ones that I've done with different kinds of smart home technology. Appreciate your time, and we'll see you again soon.